Normal heart rate is critical for proper oxygen and nutrient-rich blood circulation throughout the body. Is there any medical intervention for a patient whose heart fails to beat at the proper rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute? Well, let's find out from Yemi Adalemo as he takes us to the Federal Medical Center of Ekota, where a first pacemaker implantation was carried out on a 62-year-old patient. Over the years, quite a few patients with heart-related conditions lost their lives due to lack of medical intervention to restore their heart rhythms irregularities. However, such patients can now heave a sigh of relief as the Federal Medical Center, Idiaba Abelkuta, has come up with an alternative to stop studying death caused by heart disorders. Although it is a minor surgery, a pacemaker is a small battery-operated device which is implanted under the skin close to the heart of the patient without necessarily going through open-heart surgery. Cardiologists say the main function of a pacemaker is to help regulate the heartbeats for it to perform optimally by pumping blood properly to the body. The normal heart rate is sometimes something between 60 and 72 beats per minute. When it is low and it's getting down, it means some artificial devices need to be inserted. Carrying out a permanent pacemaker insertion on a 62-year-old patient, the hospital's cardiologist explained that the device is necessary when the heart's upper chambers fail to contract properly and the ventricles decline to pump blood out of the heart. This particular one, we know that the rhythm and the heart rate is not going to get better because it's almost like a permanent um, um, uh, disorder. So we're going to put in a permanent pacemaker. It's done under image guidance. Okay, you can either use a cath lab machine, okay, or you can use a C-arm. Okay, many institutions have a C-arm. C-arm is um, a radiological instrument or equipment that uh, you can use. You see the guide wires you're going. You can use it to know the exact position of the lead in the heart. The patient, Mrs. Dukwe Odusonya, says she first experienced some health warning signs like fatigue, weakness, chest pain, fainting, among others. To the glory of God, it's just the initial pain, the minimal pain that I felt. Within a short period, I woke up and immediately I was brought back to the ward. On getting to the ward, I don't really think I felt any pain that was nauseating or terrifying. Timely recovery, cardiologists say, depends largely on the patient's condition. After the surgery and proper nutrition, normal exercise are also required as lifestyles to improve patients' cardiovascular health. In Abelkuta, Yemi Dalimo, NT News.